Okay, the start is Necromancer, T1, Bounty, Act 2. Get to level 18, unlock the no level requirement stuff that you will get from the season theme. This is the live server, so we don't have the double massacre, so we're gonna be leveling more slowly than we should. Then I'm gonna make the wizard equip the level 60 weapon, which is what we're gonna realistically craft from the gold and the mats that we have. And then over time, I will first of all make the level 70 weapon after like one bounty run. And then I'm gonna add more and more fake level 70 items, which you either would have in the real season by adding a few paragon points. And then we're gonna hit level 70 after doing all the acts. We can get the Hades Gift right after. So that's the plan. Why act two bounties? Because they are the easiest level one. It's kind of hard to do it at Torment 1, and you have to do it at Torment 1 to get a Death Breath. And this is why you do it with a Necro. If you don't have Necro, you do it on the Witch Doctor, which is also okay. Oh, guys. And we start with Magda. Okay, this time we don't have to go new game, even. That's great. Make sure you don't talk to the Enchantress. For some reason, this didn't work. You walk to the altar to unlock the uh, massacre streaks. And now we go back down. Oh. Before I forget, actually, I want to TP around the areas to snapshot some of the nearby monsters. Even just TPing into the zone helps a lot already. To snapshot um, at least some monsters, usually nearby, or at least the quest monsters. For example, here, the Stonekeeper. He will be already spawned at level 1, so it will be way easier to kill later. So I definitely want to go around a little bit. Yeah, Realm of Shadows, there's a lot of little guys, which should not be an issue. Uh, clear the runes is a bit of a trouble here, this is like a level 2 bounty, and we don't want to run all the way there. So the idea here is we are going to do this at level 11 when we are strong. Okay. At level 11 get the weapon from the Enchantress. I could get the cash shared, but I'm not going to take it. Okay, kill four of the vessels, not five. Like this, we level up on the first kill in the, in the Magda encounter. Plus 8.3 damage. Nice. Okay, Templar. Yeah, always go Necro Start and swap if you do no cash leveling. Now, if we don't talk to Enchantress at level 1, she switches her weapon to a 38 DPS staff at level 11, which you can take, which is like way better than any other weapon at that point. So it's really good for the in-classes, just like, don't talk to any Chandras until 11. And then once you're 11, you can do the hard bounties that are left. Okay, I have to kill one of these dudes, then we should be fine. Oof. I feel like Magda is easier than Sword and Cool, it's just like further to go. I'm gonna try to save the cash this time. Nah, we don't. We don't do hardcore rules. I'm gonna open it. We can do another boss fight later. Let's do ruins, maybe. Seems to be on the other side here. Yeah. Yeah, it's 100% chance for a DB. Yeah, realistically, with the double massacre chains, you should try to get to level 18 on the Necro and then just get the um, cube on the second character. 
I think that's gonna be quite possible. Last time I ended up like level 15 or level 16 without actually doing any massacre streaks. Yeah, I said level 11, but I think it should be fine now as well. Got some decent items of regen and a weapon. Don't forget the pet. The two and a half gold that it picks up every three minutes. Alright. I think so. God, this is a long run here to ruins. <laughs> It was a menagerous goblin with the pets. Took 40 levels? Uh, 40 minutes to get to level 18 on console. And why is it so long? Something different on a lot of us on console? And it's not really that much you can do like right or wrong here in the early levels. T1 bounty is gonna be slow. And it really comes down to like doing them in the right order, I guess. You have to go like hardest to easiest bounty, and then you have to like also reserve that level 11 boost for one of the harder bounties. Yeah, 40 minutes, I mean, by that time, some people are like level 70 twice. So you might want to really consider leveling with cash. This guy would be kind of tanky now, I suppose. But we have the spiders here. Dude, he teleports down there. Dying. I should have done this one at the 11. I was a bit optimistic going in here. At level 6 with these items. Helps to survive, but I don't have the damage. Should probably keep Bone Spear actually. I think Bone Spear would actually be a better skill than those mages, yeah. Mages are nice for like single target, but most of the time I have like actually some pulls or I make a pull. Another chest. Two elite packs on this floor as well. I do. Okay, how many attacks do, does each of these nages do? It's 400% for a combo of two attacks, it says. If that tutor is accurate, who knows. It seems like they do three combos in those six seconds. So it's like 1200% weapon damage. That's actually quite a lot. Provided Bone Spear. Dude, there's a third pack. What's going on? Now 
This is a horrible start. Got a raid from Kirstermit. Hello. Welcome, guys. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Hey, this is Russian streamer. Privet. Best class of solo paragon farming. Uh, probably Monk. Or maybe. Maybe Crusader, actually. Now that I actually just think about it, maybe LD Bomb is actually the best XP best. <laughs> Definitely not Crusader. Now, LD Bomb is pretty strong, man. LD Bomb is not bad, it never left. Alright. That was awful. Let's do. Tone Keeper, and then we can do the Shroud Moss at 11. Got the heal earlier. Raxpot Crusader is the worst at everything. Yeah, I think it just doesn't like Crusader though. Yeah, I don't know, right now. I would have to check the numbers again, but right now I actually can't can't uh, remember any like stronger build than LD Bomb. I mean, yeah, we have stuff like Tarasha, etc. That's pretty good, but it's like slow. We have stuff like Bone Spear that's not really top tier. I mean, the, the most top tier build that comes to my mind right now is Wave of Light. And I think LD Bomb beats Wave of Light. Might be pretty close between them. Natalia the age. I mean if it's pork or not, we're gonna see in the patch notes. But now who knows? They probably will be pretty strong. But realistically, you know, if they actually do this like, you know, remove strafe and make it like a, a slow paced build, then yeah, it might be really good for pushing, but it might not be like something for farming. And you have to farm with UE or whatever. And LD Bomb definitely beats stuff like God and UE in uh in his, all these builds. Just watch uh, Northeast Season 23 video. You can check like what he was farming with LD Bomb there. He was doing like one and a half minute runs on like... Oh, he actually killed a guy already. Totally missed it. Uh, yeah, it's time for Enchanted Weapon. Dude, we are 12 minutes. Oof. That's awful. I should have... Not talk so much, and you would be out of here like a half a minute earlier, but whatever. Maybe we're gonna restart the entire run, man. This is pretty scuffed. Nova in Attire traps are stronger than Nova. Who knows? It's two gifts of death. Mm, do we have to go left or right? Let's go right. Best class to start as boost. You mean as getting boosted or what? I don't know. It's all play, rapid fire speeds. Yeah, rapid fire sounds better than it is, I guess. I think I'm getting hard debated here. Look at this. There's actually an opening. Change strafe to vault after vault to spawn traps. Yeah, it's actually some stuff that people talked about. I think uh, Dioxide was also saying something like that. But I don't really like that idea, to be fair. I just like vault around all the time. I mean, yeah. Layout here. Get a lot of progress. Ah, uh, Demon Hunter, I guess. Vault Age is a really good start. Yesterday I did a run to 
Maybe it's Gift. Actually, yeah, I extended it to like GR70, which is basically Hades Gift plus 15 minutes. <laughs> and uh, it was like three hours on, on Demon Hunter, it was pretty nice. Hundred fifty enemies in Oasis. Fun. Uh, Twenty speeds is a bit optimistic. If I was doing Rafa speeds, maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to Boon Spear speeds. So yeah, I guess like around. I mean, I'm mostly gonna focus on GR 100 speeds. I guess just gonna do those really fast. I think 100 is fine. Bone Spear just got like mega fast. Gonna like 90 second runs probably. Might even just go Teeth Rune. <laughs> Straight up. Spray and pray. One and a half hours. Okay, 120. The challenge is on. Okay, all these guys are level one here. Oh, wait, crystal. Let's get it. Oh man, you can start with something other than Necro. Uh, if you have at least a Witch Doctor in your team, then yes. Need at least one Necro or Witch Doctor if I want to be any kind of like high end Oh man. But someone needs to kill the boss. Or you do Double Wizard, that's also an option. Double Wizard also can do high end. Rat Solo Push with Season Theme. Actually, let me check. Apparently 142 5k Paragons is our estimate. Good luck. Okay, 16 and a half minutes. It was actually a really poor bounty run, man. But let's just stick with it. Yeah, I should have not done the runes. I should have done runes at level 11. Because now we kill everything so easily. So it was really a bad move. How can I still level practice if the PTR is over? Uh, well, there's a nice little thing called live servers. Where you usually play the game.
Salt and cool. Wow, for the first time. Let's go. Okay, this is 25 minutes, man. Yeah, this is a very slow run. I've had, I've had done everything in 18 minutes once. An average is like 20. Okay, so two diamonds. Let's see. Alright, so now we go on the wizard. I guess you like throw all the stuff in here basically. Need to kill four balls on test run, that is actually unlucky. Tournament 5. Let's see. Start Tournament 5, Act 1. I don't think there's a guide on which skills you want to use exactly on the Necro. For each level. I was always going to make something like that. Maybe I'll do it this season. Let's just get this stuff here. Start with Skeleton King here. the Templar. I wonder if you can actually lose the Massacre bonus if you hit the guy on his shield. Because technically you don't do damage to him. Like he just blocks the attack. I wonder if that actually kills your Massacre streak. God, that's too great. It feels so odd. Like you hold down right click here. And if you like move around him cursor, it just like doesn't do damage. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Oh, technically we should sell these things, I guess. Blocked attacks count as attacks, okay. Good to know. 4% move speed, let's go. Definitely start with the boss, every time. The bosses are really tanky in bounties. Yeah, I do all the bounties during leveling. I was considering skipping one act and doing it at level 70 to make sure I get the plants, but I think the plants are not an issue. But I could do that as well, I can do like one act. At level 70. Got a grey item. Just salvage all the stuff, I guess, besides the amulet and rings. Not 50 enemies. We have like an extra skill that does something here. What do you get? Cane orb man. Sure. Wave of force maybe is not that bad right now. I hit the a crate on the ground. Who is goblin? Sneaky. Uh, Raven Force is not bad actually when you're like super overleveled. So maybe you can just like teleport, Wave of Force, teleport, something like that. Why bounty leveling? Because Hades Gift is pretty nice. And the bounties are not going much faster. They do then SSF at level 70, so I guess as well do it now.
Kind of strange. What? Oh, it has a cooldown. Wait, for us now. What did I do? I was wondering, why am I suddenly like walking here? I get teleported at level 22, I believe. Let's just get evocation already. Explosive Blast doesn't help us. Oh, it's Twister. Oof. Huge dude, man. I'm dead. There goes my Aqua character. Gotta be careful, actually, man. Torment 5? I'm getting blasted. One shot almost on this guy. What is going on? Yeah, I think on Aqua I'm gonna do this on Torment 4. Also, we got to get uh, G Death to our Templar. He was actually alive. Okay, we have force so weak. Oof. It's kind of nice though for these AOE scenarios here. Glass cannon, of course. Let's go. I think I have teleport now. A lot of packs here, it's not bad. Can you hit these guys? Yeah. Is the next level? Yeah. Beautiful. Aha! There's 75 enemies, so we should kill these guys then. Oh, this guy's very far. Take a 30 to 50 weapon to the bounties. How about a level 60 weapon? This is a level 60 sword. We have Hydra. <laughs> he just died one shot, but he was actually snapshot, it seems. On level one. How? I wasn't here in the zone. How was he snapshot? Okay, 33 for Hydra, 46 for Frost Hydra. On something like this, you definitely want to do a bit of Massacre Chain. So let's try it a bit here, it's just like fighting a bit through. I guess the good should be relatively good for Massacre upkeep. Because it like keeps chaining up to 10 targets. It's a long time. Oh, I died from the fire on the ground. Yeah, I think they're gonna be careful here. Let's do illusionist. Get warm hole, that's nice. We can do this here as well, that's very nice. 
Champion Elite style. Holy shit, man. Frozen. Oh, because I teleported away too fast. Oh, I see now. I teleported away too fast. And the frozen the next frozen spawn on me as well because of that. I'm saying I actually have to wait it out a little bit. Because I was waiting for the frozen. I mean, I actually lost the chest now because of this. Dude, I don't want to restart the entire run. Everything sucks. Tone four is not. Uh, tone five is not good. I think I put lightning hydro though. You must care about the single target damage on the Hydra. Oof. My policy got frozen from this smash. So now we can get out of level 70 weapon at least. Put this thing back in. Take this weapon. And I guess you go Tone 5 again for another run. Actually, you can just stay in this game in that case. So, you wanted to do like 4, I believe, right? So, you can. That's no boss here. Let's see if we can get out here. Start for Jura as a bit at headaches. Uh, yeah, either you save one act or you buy the recipe some squirt in act 2. I'm not sure how easy it is to get those uh, blacksmith recipes, but the blacksmith recipes are usually way easier. But I guess you might still have to get like one, uh, one bounty cash. So yeah, I think I might save one. Try that way. Let me do this integrate. I'm not a big fan of this integrator, I gotta say. Things like the same thing as chakrams. Everyone likes chakrams for some reason. Can try this combo, maybe. Super prison. Actually, it's too sleek shell. Very nice act for bounty run. Like full hydra, uh, full lightning wizard here. Can you storm armor as well? Fog. Let's go. And we definitely should need that resource. It looks kind of cool. This lightning wizard. I definitely don't need to move for speed on the diamond skin. Holy. Yeah, Tone 4 it is, man. I'm with that for sure. 
Same on the DH, I also started on turn 5 and regretted it, but it wasn't that bad. At least on the DH you survive, on Wizard you just die. Guess you don't run the last cannon. Do we have anything else here? Can do this. This. Yeah. I don't mean like any of these skills. Imagine XP loss like an Eter. Oh, you don't lose XP until hell, no? Or until Nightmare at least. You're not there yet. Oh, it would be fun. Did this on T3 on Barb. Yeah, that should be pretty chill. Tone 3 should be chill on anything. We have like Vitality at least on the high level weapon and stuff. Calculated. What is it? 46 for Frost Hider and Snowbound 47. And then that kind of works, I guess. That's very late, man. Don't really trust this lightning harder, I gotta say. That's Lord, it's kidding. These guys are like almost dead. And then I'd run away. Amazing. You're wondering what check my transmog does? What does it do? <laughs> what do you expect? You can cram. <laughs> Want me to check it or not? That's kind of a bad time though. Yeah, I think after turning in we should be 46, so I have to frost high down and have a bit of AoE. The thing is that realistically on live server, season 28, we would be high level as well. So stuff would be even harder than this. Definitely want to go Torment 4. For both the first and the second bounty. It's just like too slow here, the cover mistakes. It's just as like normal monsters. Four would be okay. We made 45 minutes. A lot of people are long 70 at this point.
Guess we don't need this anymore, really. I'm gonna scramble. Let's go down to Torment. Actually, let's just do Torment too. I don't know. Just like run faster. I'm doing the bounty leveling so that I can get ahead of skip faster. That's the idea. So I think this is like 5, and at this point we also add 500, uh, 500 vitality and int from crafter level 70 gear. Yeah, and crafter stage that was also quite nice. We have a way higher ruby already. Okay, went down three torment levels, which is maybe too much. Maybe we should have done T3, but let's go. I'm not sure how much XP difference there is between the different torments. Can we see that? On the season journey overview. XP. Okay, torment 5 has 1150%, and torment 2 has 400% bonus XP. So it's like roughly a third of what we just had. Torment 3 is 550 instead of 400 bonus. So 650 total instead of 550. No, instead of 5. So plus 30 percent. The jeweler plan counter. I don't need a counter for that. If you have 12 million gold, you can just buy the plants from Squirt. And that's 5. Actually, I'm not sure if you need to buy all three. Maybe you don't need 12 million gold. Can anyone confirm how many you get exactly from each of the recipes? But I was asking earlier, where do we get the blacksmith plants? Because they're kind of like from the same source. Yeah, I need five jewel plants. Should probably do Adria here. There are only two plants. Of, right, yeah, there's three plants, and uh, I think the Hellfire one counts as three, right? The amulet. So you should get five from that, basically. Question is where to get the blacksmith plants. I didn't even check how much gold we got last time. Actually, death already at this point. Maybe it's better than governizing. Yeah, okay, Torment 2 was definitely the right move, man. Look at these guys still not dying fast. Kinda nice though, doing an area bounty. Potentially. We might even be able to keep the Massacre Streak for Adria herself. It's gonna be some massive XP. I see two plants. I can buy three. There's a new Hellfire, the old Hellfire, and uh, yeah, the Emilot. Mean, 
kind of want to get this uh, ring there. This might have been a bit greedy. Wait, does this storm armor actually reset the massacre timer? Oh, looks like it. It's pretty sick. Storm armor is insane, actually. Or was it just a chain here? I have to verify this. Yeah, we just like walk in there. You can probably keep it if you reset it. I love a good Hydras, like 20 or something, I believe. Oh boy, Eduardo. Mm, we could actually do a Cane Dynamo for a Hydra. Or Power Hungry. Do I not have Power Hungry? I think I have like, nothing for damage. I'm not sure what's the requirement to be able to buy the old Hellfire amulet, uh, Hellfire ring recipe. Does anyone know? What is my highest view count on Twitch? Uh, 20,000 or something when some season starts at some some point. That was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, it will probably go up quite a bit on the 4, I imagine. Especially long term. Okay, let's do this. Uh, we also don't really need this. Don't have unstable normally. Such a frenzy. Ooh. How much gold do we get? Let's check how much gold we have. 21 million here. That'd be kind of good to know. What level did I hit 70 last time? I'm at the age. It was like one and a half hours, I believe, right? So we're actually kind of on track for that. Made a bunch of deaths and stuff, but this was because we went too high difficulty. Next time we'll definitely go lower. Let's try to go down. You open the challenge with cash. I would still try to get the legendary. It still speeds it up a bit and it can help you to get your GR20 done. What proposal? Get rid of wings then. Uh, no plan for that right now. Oh, look, there's gloves. You even have int.
I think it was last time it was going to be a drag, man. Let's check how many DBs we have. We turned in a few caches already. I didn't actually check. Oh. 310. It's a mouse over it, man. How many do we get from the bounty caches so far? Plan some squares at level 70. So we can only buy it at level 70, I guess. Makes sense. Because it's like the RS Hellfire. That's Act 5. Then we've done everything now besides Act 3. I'm gonna save Act 3 for level 7. Then. So we're gonna go Temple to first one now and do Act 3 at the end. Which means you're gonna have like fewer Act 3 mats, but you also need fewer because you're not gonna craft anything that involves Act 3 mats. So now you will craft the Sage set, etc. Oh, it's actually kind of five kills, so that's kind of, kind of cool. Okay, how many DBs is this? One, two, one. Yeah. Should we do a Torment 2 Massacre? We can probably do that on Torment 2. Here we go, Torment 1. I don't feel very strong. Well, actually, we would add like more stuff now, right? So let's add another 500. Potentially more, actually, but let's go with that. And then we're gonna finish X3 at the end. So we have one hour now, level 56. Half an hour to. 70 and we would be on similar pace as the uh, DH.
Nothing coming out of this sucker fuck and not the previous one either. It'll be faster to do all bounties at Tom and 6. Well, if you do it on a high difficulty, it's not going to be faster. <laughs> but a level faster. So if you can handle it on Tom and 6 and you do everything fast, then sure, do it. At least the early bounties. We just need to do like one act, maybe two acts at Tom and 6, and then you go lower from there. Because even with like full level 70 gear, you're not going like to kill stuff instantly. Unless you also have a multiplier from the cube, maybe. Yeah, I have 1,000 int and vitality right now for the practice. To make up for the missing items I would have crafted by now. I mean, basically I'm a bit weaker than I should be, I think. Because you would have like, yeah, 3, 4, level 70 items extra now. So instead of just 150 int, I would have like, you know, 350 int on these pieces and stuff, so... Or 400. Man, I find so many weapons. Every time I do these level practice, I find so many weapons, man. It's actually sad. I mean, if that was like, you know, leveling, no cash, no no level requirement and stuff, that would be actually really good. Getting the weapon upgrades regularly, but now, yeah. Oh shit. Instead of prism, which is actually not really needed anymore. Mm. Is this problematic? Okay. Uh, can we do 400? Should be enough. I'm not sure how many cultists are actually in this room here, but it should be like around 30. It's gonna be tight. Uh oh. We have 59 though, which is fine. Okay, let's do Tormund 2 again. I'm trying to go really big. I'm going to play Necro, Wizard, Demon Hunter, maybe some Monk, maybe some Barb. We have to make sure there's going to be a, a huge one. Because you're level 60 now, everything gets way harder after 60. So you want to skip as many levels as possible at that point. And light and shrine, that's kind of nice. Okay. 
I have 470 blood shards actually, I totally forgot we should gamble. I can't really do anything with that though. But there's no enemies here. F. That was very far, man. Would have been fine on season though. On season can actually like full YOLO and wizard man. You're gonna, never gonna lose a massacre. Starting to keep going, I guess. Like another 200 or so. I wonder if Audacity would be better than Power Hungry. I feel like I'm actually finding a lot of these guys close range instead of long range. Maybe both. The Rated Crystal. Yeah, now it's definitely time to leave. So T1. One of 30 odd cash, not bad. Yeah, it's kind of okay time. So what I was doing yesterday and it seems like what I'm on track for right now. It's 23 minutes until then and we had a really bad start to be fair. It's bad map design. It's not bad map design. I think Temple to first one is pretty well designed. Mm. That's Audacity. Oh, we don't have Audacity yet. 66. T1 now seems a bit tankier than oh, first time we find a chess. Buy 60 ones. Now nah, you just craft level 70 yellows. We should have enough materials from all the bounty castles and stuff. Just like craft full 70s at this point. So we should be fine. We're gonna craft a sage and then a bunch of uh, yellows. And we're gonna add 500 more in intern mortality after this run, I guess. And then we're gonna slowly reduce it again. Let's see, approach level 70. Up, I guess. Can't open this. I oh, know that's Marquis gems. I really like some Marquis gems, I gotta say. Okay, let's cut them. Ah, Ruby. My wizard is so weak that he cannot die. That's a good part. You don't need cheat death passive even. Your temple doesn't die, you don't die. Like on hardcore, I would not run cheat death here right now, I think. It would probably help you against the DC. Maybe that would be the only reason if the servers feel unstable. I have four bounty axes done, by the way, not three. I've done two on a necro, then one on this, four and five. So they only, they only have three left. But you don't need many materials off. We don't really need an item from it either. 
So that's what we're gonna do at like level 68 or something. It's gonna do like a hard bounty run or whatever. On Act 3. And we wanna make sure that we actually end at level 70, I guess. Okay, it's time to leave this around here. This is doomed. Should we do Torment 1 again? I guess so. Close Jack. He's missed the Templar. I could, I guess. But the heals are kind of nice sometimes. But yeah, I feel like quite tanky right now. We probably will need him. Oh, wait a minute, if you get a, a Typhon buff, how do you imitate the Typhon buff later, guys? What do I do? I need like a times two somewhere. We just put more int, I guess we just put more int or something. Makes me a bit more tanky than I should be, but I guess it doesn't matter. It's gonna take whatever end I have and double it. Is there anything else I could do? That would be kinda like that. Squirts, maybe? Squirts would probably be more accurate. I didn't actually put the Marquis Ruby in the helm. No. I fun cult. You're one of them. <laughs> Finally, have a decent massacre here. Oh, it's actually still. Ooh, what? It's so far still. What is going on? Dude, it's so far. Okay. Band. Oh, that was a big round band. I'm oh, gonna be like 66 at least after this, I guess.
Okay, I wanna get those two big dudes here. Got me. Ah, okay. Exactly 66, actually. Well, I guess now it's time to put the remaining points like this on the missing gear. Are we lagging? Oh, that's why I was desyncing. It's gonna be a funny run. Level 2 is right here next to us. <laughs> but if you go like all the way around. Best way to double Demon Hunter to 70 about the back is what you're gonna see on YouTube tomorrow. Fortunately, the upload took 14 hours. So I made it just in time before the stream. Now YouTube has to wait some hours until it's all processed. You're gonna see it. Something coming out. Yeah. I have one buck. That was close, man. Oof. <laughs> okay, let's check a little bit where we're actually going here. Down, it seems. All right. That makes sense. Should have been obvious, actually, looking at this. Uh, it was a 13 gigabyte three hour VOD that I uploaded. So yeah, I upload roughly. Oh wait, it was not 13 gigabyte. It was like 20, 26. Yeah, I, rough, I upload roughly like two gigabytes per hour. So. I should level practice in hardcore. In fact, we do. I play by hardcore rules. Well, that really matters because I'm not gonna do a wizard anyway for the start, but this is. I always do like hardcore rules basically for leveling. Enjoyable. Dude. This is the second time I'm losing at 396 or 398. Ugh. I mean, we were pretty close, but there was also the event. Let's just do it because it's also the bounty. It's probably worth it. Just doing a new one here. Let's see if we can get to like 200 at least. Did not stop my help jam. <laughs> I'll just like Ruby like three runs ago. Yeah. Seems like the time will actually be quite similar to the DH. Kinda surprising because I felt like the DH run yesterday was pretty solid. And here we had this terrible start and everything, and Wizard doesn't really feel great. Some of the time is kinda similar, but I still have to do this X3 bounty at some point. Which we were done with already in 10 minutes from now on the DH, so I guess we are slightly behind the DH time right now. 
Then it's gonna be slower once you have our four piece because it does nothing. I guess here we actually have to grind like an LOD gem to like level uh, six or so, equip some random items to make sure I actually get some uh, legendaries. Fine. This guy has Jailer actually. Okay, let's get some See how much the event actually gives us. Okay, it feels like two or three bars or so from Bounty plus event. It's kinda okay, but nothing crazy. Plus 20% toughness. Let's just do this, I guess. Okay, I guess one more run, and then the bounty should be fine. At level 69, maybe we can start a bounty. Okay, what else do we have to do? See, season journey tracker, siege breaker, a butcher, Sidea, etc. So. We just need LOD to finish the season journey. Yeah, I mean, if we don't have any multipliers, GR20 is pretty hard. And even if you manage to do it, it's gonna be Omega slow. So if you get at least like a times two or times three from like you know five six legendaries equipped and like a you know level eight LOD gem or so, that definitely helps. Like Typhon offers you nothing for GR20. Yeah, we Keep going down, I guess. Seems okay. Peewee or Ruby, look at that. It's a number. Ice storm was popping. Oh yeah, true, that's an ice armor that actually does damage around you, right? That might actually be kind of legit. We don't really need a storm armor here, and I'm not 100% sure if it actually resets the timer on Massacre or not. So we can actually do that. Uh, wait. Oh, we have to go down. This might be a bit of a struggle. Actually, we might have to go down right here. Yeah, we have to go down right. Okay, yeah, maybe it's fine. We can get one or two of these dudes here. Two big guys. Oh. F. Okay, 68, almost 69. It's probably not good enough for. Is it good enough for Bounty Run? Should I try it? Okay, I'm gonna do a new game on hard. Or normal. 
Mm. It's too hard. And do the act free bounty. Why not just integrate? Oh, they have to stand still for that. Start the down. Just don't complete the last bounty. I should be able to complete it, just not turn it in, I think, no? Doesn't matter whether complete or not. Okay, this is still slow, man. I nice spurred, what are you doing? Tearing this guy away. Was a possible ban evader. Well, possible is possible, as long as it doesn't do anything else. Why do you ban? Wizard is, uh, is carrying a sword. <laughs> Good question. Apparently, this is how it works in this game. Dude, you get like no XP on heart. Look at this. And it's slow. I guess it's gonna do it on normal now. It would be fun if like Wizard actually had like a real like melee build. I mean there's like Firebird, but it doesn't really feel like a real melee build. It would be nice if there was like some real generator build with like maybe even you know Spectre Blade and Missile together or something. Like a combo. I haven't gotten any DBs, have we? One. These are actually a major problem. I mean, we'd have Sage, we'd have gotten two, I mean, we've gotten like. How much from the bounties? Okay, so it'll be four now. You count them now, let's count the DBs. We got from one bounty cache, you got like one DB. On Tormen two, I think on Tormen three, it's two, so that's three, seven, uh, eight from the start, which you spent one, so it's seven again. And I think three from the Tormen five one at the start. So you have ten now, we need 25, so they have to keep that in mind. Melee is when you're an Archon. Yeah, but the Archon is also, yeah. Not exactly a melee build or so. You have Action Toto. We have reverse Archon builds where you just don't really do anything in Archon. This is 9% movement speed, I'm gonna keep that actually. I think now is also slowly the time to reduce some of the Paragon stuff again. Let's go with 200 points again. How's my gear looking overall? Still relatively scuffed. For example, the helm has nothing. Boots are pretty bad, so I think 1000 is fine. Yeah, I'm doing the last act for oh, Hades Gift now. That's what we're doing on the normal. I mean, this time we want to finish it at level 70 so that we can uh, 
get the plant sort of blacksmith immediately. Because last time when I did it on the age, I wasn't really sure if you would have the plants or not. So it's like a safer way. And you're one and a half hours now. Almost as fast as the age. Just need like a few more minutes to finish the act. And get 70. If the necro start wasn't so bad, it would actually be pretty much similar time as the age. It's kind of kind of strange. I wonder how fast it will be in like another class. Actually, wait, we can increase the difficulty again, right? Difficulty cannot be changed anymore. Oh. So you cannot go up and down whenever you want. You can only go down or up. Okay, problem. I was thinking about, yeah, for these bounties I can just do hard difficulty again. Bonus chest. Ooh. Let's go. Up, up does work. Normally you can increase. Wait, what is this? Dude, there's an invisible monster hitting me. What the hell? Yeah, make a normal game, you can increase it to hard. Source, trust me, bro. Clear the foundry. I think on hardcore as well, you can decrease from hard to normal. I think I'm gonna do Sleek Shell. Should've done this a long time ago for the extra speed. Because I don't need the defense, really. I can also do magic weapon actually for the damage. Maybe that's even better. Just get like 20% extra damage. That's actually kind of noticeable. It takes have a chance to burn enemies. You can also try that actually. It works with anything, right? It doesn't have to be fire attacks. Not sure, like, what's the chance though? But if it procs on Blizzard re reliably, that would be kind of nice. I think this could also speed up the leveling quite a bit, actually. When do you get that? It's quite late. But it has Force Weapon relatively early for 20% damage. Maybe if I don't feel like I need the toughness, if I kill stuff fast, which you kind of want to do, it should be fine, just going with Magic Weapon. You can speed up your clearing. Just melt stuff away a little bit. Dude, you get like no XP on normal. Look at this. So what do we do now? I did this way too early, I should have been like at least 69 and a half, and I started like 68.8 or so. I guess I do a normal rift, get a key. Just do like some normal rifts, get some keys, and then jar. Get our LOD going. Ah, it's an LDB, so that's. 12 with stage set. I guess the DBs are not gonna be an issue. Yeah, that should be one or two rifts. And normal is probably like the difficulty you want to do anyway if you don't do the season objective difficulties. It's gonna do like one torment one rift at the end, or this a torment four rift actually. Then we get the GR20 unlock, get our Hadrix later, so that's probably the strat now. One enemy, that's what we see here. Yep. It's also familiar, it's 10% damage. I didn't mean to talk about this ice, what's it called? Frozen Storm. 80% weapon damage, okay, that's nothing. Not worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, 
Yeah, I also kind of need to figure out like better skills to use. I, I gotta say. This hide blizzard combo is relatively decent for these massacre bonuses. People swear on disintegrate, but I don't really think it's that great. Oh, let's go. At least our sort. At least our LOD is gonna pop off. I was going about to say here. Okay, Imperial Ruby. Let's go. Big helm. And more XP here. Yeah, it's like one or two rifts. We have 70, it's fine. We need the keys anyway. The question is, are we going to be 70 in the rift? We're probably going to hit the rift guardian and not going to be 70. Uh-oh. This Siva would be ideal for two-man push. Yes. That is the meta next season, it looks like. Alright. One more. Maybe we're gonna try like some other like early game leveling with wizard and see if this integrant actually helps. What did I drop? Just drop blizzard or what? But it's 1075% man for one click. It's kinda nice. Because you can't stack it on the same place, but aside from that it's kinda good. Necro Zemon good for two man. No. You you provide absolutely nothing as a Z-Monk to your Necro. Because the Necro is already invincible. You can kind of group stuff on, on by their own. I mean, you have Psycho Strike, I guess it might help a little bit. Okay, we got another DB, by the way, we had 14. I'm missing three bars. Okay, we're fine, I guess. Something at 68 something is probably fine in season with like a bit of a max of a chance. We're not gonna turn in. We can also do the bosses. So which bosses do we have to do? Butcher and Siege Breaker on normal. Let's do that while we add it. Nine to be at sixteen. Okay, I'm gonna stop counting. We're gonna have twenty-five, no problem. I maybe keep counting actually, or uh, upgrade rare purposes. There's a long run here, whoa. <laughs> I think it's time to also reduce the Aragons here. Do it 500 and then after we hit 70, craft like one piece of everything. And then reduce it completely. Definitely proc Crispin. I think definitely procs Crispin, but only for like a split second when they're like in the air. So it's not that great. So most of the Crispin actually is like the stun from this location. Or the, um, the passive that slows enemies with poison skills.
Need 30 beasts total for extract and cube. Yeah, but so far we have not, nothing extracted, so it's all good. Yeah, let's keep calling it the bees. It's gonna be again interesting to see actually how much we would have. See, this goes top to bottom and left to right, kind of. So in general, top builds are like better. But you also group them up a little bit. For example, if there's like you know three necro builds in S tier, then usually we start with the best one of them, and then the second best necro build and the third best necro build. And if necro as a you know as a whole is better than like let's say demon hunter, then necro all three builds will be above the demon hunter builds and stuff like that. So. That's like kind of like some subtle difference. Actually, we don't have to do massacre bonus anymore. We can just run. Credit rare has become a compound, yeah. Any legendarians, like, set and stuff is a compound, just yellow is armor. It's Diablo 4 rules, guys. It's fine, can this here? DB, 18 now. Okay, what else do you have to do? Socket 5 gems, Blacksmith, Jeweler, Mystic, okay, we have all that, that's fine. And then for chapter 2, all artisans level 12, so we actually have to spend two more DBs for that. So we said we have 16 now, so it would be 14 in our case, because we have to upgrade these guys. St. Arches is actually big. It's not a rift. We should have a bunch of legendaries already. We can get a, one or two more here. Gonna do Audacity now. That's a good start. Ooh, good belt actually. Ah, uh, normal if it's better to be fast at least. It's gonna be like some female run. Didn't check how much gold we got exactly, but we should have plenty, right? Does anyone remember how much gold we had? At the start. I'm talking about it earlier, like, can I just buy the recipes? But it doesn't matter anymore, I guess we'll just get most of them now. PDR servers are off now for the next, like, five months. Seventy! One forty-five. 50 minutes behind the edge. With like probably five minutes slower necro start, so like 10 minutes behind. Ooh. Let's try to get them here in the corner. Nana belt. Oh, they're all chilling in the corner. I like it. String of ears.
performance, speed and push meta. Uh, push as Nova Afma or Nova Spiders or Meteor or Meteor. And as mostly the speed meta as well, or rats or bats or Natalia. It'd be cool if that would buff UE a little bit more. It'd be nice to play like four men speed UE. That'd be really cool. Group leveling viable next season. If you have at least one or two necros, probably. It's fine. Okay, now DB, that's 20 now, I believe. That's a lot of dexterity on his chest. Worth to complete Hades Gift with Necker and soft to the Edge. I don't know, I've done a full Hades Gift run yesterday, up to GR70, and that was 3 hours, which is kind of fine without cash, I guess. I don't think it's really worth leveling completely on Necro, but it might be slightly faster. Okay, we got our first key. Let's do a second key, I guess. It's also time to craft all the items that we didn't craft earlier, so we have to spend that time and stuff. So here we get another belt. F. And blood shards. So what do we do with our blood shards now? Do we actually go Winter Flurry? It might actually be the move. So let's save this wand. Let's do this. Okay, so we have Sage here. So we have Sage. So we have Bracer. Uh, they skip the Sage gloss, all right? Oh, you wanted to skip the boots, I believe. Oh, no, no, that's not. No, the helm. Okay. All good. The pants. The shoulder. And that's it, and we move all of this. Equip this, and this, and this. Oh, there's so many items now here. Guess we just keep this around. And this. And a belt. Let's save this one too, I guess. Identify this. Shame of this area is kind of nice, but we can't use it yet. Gonna save this for later. Same with this stuff. This. Okay, so much. Two rhyme hearts, man. What the hell is this? All right. A lot of rubies, apparently.
Either way, I would like to have Rog. Now he's gonna put the the Sage on the follower. It's fine. Seeing as yeah, well, let's get a higher damage. This also has higher damage. <laughs> okay, sick crafts actually, and a perfect in roll. Let's go. I think his item slots are not random. Uh, we could probably roll this, but it needs a death breath. The soul we got. Or maybe don't roll this and just put on a follower later. Do I get a crit roll? Okay. Let's do a second rift, so we get LOD. And then we can actually try already, maybe, with a bunch of items that we have. We do elemental exposure, we have cold, lightning, fire. I think the magic weapon should count for elemental exposure, huh? That'd be kinda nice. Anything else that we can do for damage? Maybe do arcane dynamo. It should work, right? Maybe we should have taken that way earlier. Did I remove this? Yes. Okay, the question is, what GR can we open, guys, when you have not completed anything besides a normal rift? What is the highest GR we can open? Does anyone know? Okay, Dynamo, try hard. I'm not really trying hard, but it would help for like, some of these elites here and stuff. Just put it in Hydra, 5 stacks. GR12, okay, that's actually fine. The question is, can I do a GR12 comfortably? Not really, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so we probably have to do like one extra rift. Nah, let's do a T1 rift then. This also unlocks. Uh... Well, we have to do Torment 4 anyway, no matter what. So let's do a T1 and then do uh, 3 GRs. Okay, I've got more DBs now. But now they doubled, so we have to remember that. Five point three K int. I think putting these diamonds here was useless, by the way. So power hungry audacity. Now, what do we gamble besides the offhand? It's not really anything to gamble, you just need two ones and the offhand, and that's it. There's nothing else to gamble, really. Ashangar would be kind of nice, I guess. Maybe we should gamble the Bracer, because else you might just die too much of the Hadex Gift. They have full shields all the time, so that's a bit of a struggle. Three tiers higher than the difficulty. Yeah, so if I do like a Torment 4 Rift, I unlock like, I think Torment 4 was GR19, so I unlock 22. Torment 3, uh, and I unlock 23? 22? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Okay. A helmet for the Hydra. Hmm. Where's the Godala table? The wizard hats. The magistrate level 34, man. Would be very tempting to actually make a level 34 wizard to try to get the magistrate. So it's that's pretty large. If you get it. And just stick it in a cube. I think I'll do it. 34. 
Yeah, we don't care about the meteor stuff right now. We can farm out the meteor stuff easily once you have the hydro set, that's no problem. I think here he's gonna try to get it and stick it in the cube. Which you should do now, I guess, if anything. And the, ch the odds are pretty good. How many helms are there? That's 34, the S, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wizard hats. And a few normal helms. It's not the best odds. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's a total of nine helms in the pool actually at level 34. Because it can't gamble wizard heads directly. But I think the item is so strong, it's worth it. And you have 600 blood shards from all this stuff. It's not bad. Okay, we're almost two hours now. Key. This is the second? No, it's the third, right? We did three keys now. Also two. And there's two, I think. Then we want to do a third one later. Should also save these ones here so I can upgrade rare. Okay, so now I'll put all my gear into the stash and we go on a level one wizard and get to 34. So I'm gonna add a bit of. Um, Stats from Paragon again. I want to try to get the helm. That should be pretty fast. Just have to be careful to not over level. Gamble the boots out of 1 2 bounty caches. Yeah, that would be pretty sick for sure. So we add like one, two, three. Should be like easy peasy. You have actually more stats, you could even like 400 or something, but let's go with this. We're trying to get the magistrate right? to prepare for the Typhon. And no jump of ease, it's a bit slow, I guess, but it's okay. Should be more than like five minutes maximum, I think. Do like some nice chain here. And then go to the Temple of the Firstborn. And otherwise you have like, I don't know, 25 helms or something in the pool. Now we have nine, so it's like much better odds. Then just gamble this character on level 34 until we get the Magistrate. Once you have that, we can get Ashnagar, I guess. I guess another option would also be to do the Minter Flurry, which you can still do later, I guess. Minter Flurry is also quite nice. Update the Kadala Guide. What do you mean, what, what Kadala Guide exactly? What update? I'm 
Might as well it's a wizard head, it's not a normal helm. We we'll go down to the wizard heads. Let's just do the butcher. Hashtag don't know if to Russia. <laughs> ah, diamond. Let's do a bit of Temple of the Firstborn and then we should be fine. So you can ask him, of course, why not? Actually activate. Press chest. That should probably do the trick. Now it'd probably be like level thirty four around now. With like a nice Massacre. If you just go like through the temple, like probably just go straight up through the temple on turn six, so like easy thirty something, without even trying. So I have to make sure you don't over level actually. So let's let it time out. We have thirty one. Make sure I don't do too much. Thirty two. One more. Okay, I think that's already too much. Ready for it. Alright. Put this thing back. Now we got the else. And never lucky, but we can probably use one of these for LD later. Let's do this one, for example. And you go back on our other wizard. No new helms in the tool until 53. Oh, don't have to be that careful then, I guess. All right, that's good to know. We want to do a T1 rift, right? So we unlock, like... Ah, oh, man. I'm not sure. Can we do T1? I'm gonna try. Maybe I should use a weapon. Okay, let's see how this will go. I do not have a tearless video out because there's no patch notes. Not much to see right now. You don't care about the Hadric. You get the full set at the end. I don't care about the, you know, two and four piece. Uh, T1 kind of works. It's gonna be a bit slow, I guess. Yeah, we're doing this so we can unlock like um, yeah, GR12 or whatever. So that we can get 100% gem ups on our LOD. Do we have enough gold to empower is the question, if we do like a GR12. We got more DBs. We could, we could do an upgrade wand at this point. So let's keep that in mind. We do an upgrade wand. 
Let me just start counting to 25 again. Hopefully I get a corner here with when patch notes. I don't know if you're lucky in like two hours. Should have bought some jewelry, maybe. Some stats. Yeah, I was counting the, how many DBs we found so far, and we should be at around 25 now. So, next yellow wand I find, I'm gonna upgrade in the cube. If you're trying to get Serpent Sparker or Fragment, if you get one of them, that's pretty GG. Especially Serpent Sparker. And otherwise, you can just use it as like a LOD dummy. And then get rid of this weapon here. If unlucky on Friday. Yeah, uh, Friday seems like very late. If they actually want to announce 24th of February, I mean, that's only 11 days from now. The last two seasons, apparently, both times it happened on a Monday. We are not looking forward to finding a boss for like 5 minutes. Maybe I should have just gone into GR, man. Instead of doing this T1 rift, just go into GR and do like whatever I can open, like GR5, and just do that. Let's go with the LOD that I get. Thanks for the 500 bits, yeah, by the way. Appreciate it. Season end on 9 teams, so I need a new patch out. Yes. And also, they have to lock in the patches be way before because of console, because like console has like this really weird system where you can't be really patched stuff very fast. So they always have to give it like, you know, a week in advance or something. So, yeah, theoretically the patch is probably ready. This guy's a jerk. That's perfect. Takes more damage. And this is a slow rift. For sure. You just start counting the bees again. Yeah, I think instead of doing this here, I would probably just do like the first two GRs with whatever I can open. Get it kind of powerful, which should help you a bit. Get the LOD, which should be very helpful. And just get the LOD to like level 3 or whatever. Or 2 even. That would already be like, you know, some 50% damage boost. Do like one more rift on T1 now. But okay, let's just keep going. Cindergal, thank you. Appreciate it. DBs again. So I have like four now. Uh, I will do a hardcore zap until 150. I'm gonna try to do this in the first stream. And then switch to Demon Hunter most likely to try the Natalia. And then at some point I'm gonna make a wizard as well and maybe go back to Necro and do some more stuff. But I would probably not stay SSF after uh, the 150. So at least T16 stuff I'm gonna group up, bounties, etc. Uh, during the event. Then afterwards maybe I'm gonna do other stuff too. But yeah, I think it's gonna be like a nice little challenge to do like uh, 0 to GR 150 in one go SSF hardcore.
join. The Discord gives you an error. Where from did you try to join? You have a lot of people joining like every day, so I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe we got banned at some point. <laughs> Here on me, thank you as well for this. Appreciate it. What class would I play? Necro for the first time of 50. Yeah, side chance for wizards or side chance for the age, but realistically, Necro. It's gonna be kind of interesting to actually like push up as a Necro with Nova with like the boss kills and stuff. I've never tried anything like that, so let's see how that will go. Maybe I'm gonna play it a bit before patch to get a feel for it. Universe Archon seems more approachable to season theme. Yeah, I mean, if you do the Empower Shrine Fishing, it's pretty nice. Sure. Like, no go go. Like, we don't need to roll like perfect cooldown everywhere. It's really chill. <laughs> Just don't die, I guess. And don't get a two floor rift. Although this two-floor rift might change, so maybe they're gonna adjust this uh, shrines disappearing all the time. This was like, uh, like actually a leftover from the Ahavarion nerf that they did a few seasons ago. Because back then, like, you know, those red necros, they were always running with Ahavarion for the XP shrine and stuff, and that made rats pretty OP. This is like a slight nerf to rats by removing that. But it has also the collateral damage of just like making this season power kind of obsolete. Thank you for the sub as well, if you're anime. What are you gonna play in this season? Man, I just wanna get done with this run. Actually, I just realized it was kind of stupid doing this. Because even if I manage to unlock this now, like the GR will be so slow as well. We do like a GR10. So let's just go like 60% upgrades. I think this was really bad doing this. So it's just done like a normal rift and then do like three runs or something. Or even like a master rift or expert, I don't know. I'm going to unlock like GR7 maybe, whatever that is, a hard rift even. I think hard rift would be fine, right? Just like one normal, one hard, go in, get the LOD. Oh well, let's just keep going. Is a chance of Witch Doctor Bass? Uh, a small chance. I suggested like a big money to buff for Mundunagur. But who knows if they're actually gonna do it. Why do you want GR10? I would for the 100% gem up on LD. So I have to do fewer rifts, but that was actually kind of stupid. I should have just done it like in faster rifts. Like, I don't know what level I want the LOD to be, but I don't want it to be super low. But I think we just wasted like all this time that we would have saved from it, basically. So it's kind of a bad move.
It's like any better way to drag better single target damage on this build or on Wizard in general. I don't know, man. This and Demon Hunter have like some pretty clearly decent single target skills. Don't feel the same way here on the Wizard. Okay, got another two DBs actually. So equip the followers. So we could just give them all our stuff here to have the thing. Executioner could be huge. You a J monk or you Edim Hunter for 115 GR? Uh, yes. I've yeah, got an upgrade. All right. Got a weapon, big weapon here. Yeah. Alright, let's do... Uh, I guess the first wave we can do like V, though. Doesn't really matter. Level 4 is Expert, level 7 is Master. So if you do a Master Rift, you could actually unlock level 10, right? Okay. So now we have unlocked up to 13, which is tournament 2. Let's just do an Expert. Actually, let's do level 3. Let's go. Oh, I think I did not uh, drop my... Wait, let's do that real quick, actually. Doesn't count. So let's just get a new one here, I guess. Let's also drop these. For a split second, I was surprised that I don't find myself in the Hell Rift anymore. Okay, it's Perini again. Okay, GR3, guys. It's kind of working. Video is chill. Yeah, Tarasha has a really chill build, literally. As long as you don't play Stop Act. Okay, we are 2 hour 20. It's gonna be tough to beat the Demon Hunter with GR70. So we might have our 6 piece by like 245, maybe. And then it comes down to do we get any, like, one? Do we get any Ashnagar? Do we get any Helm? We have a lot of stuff to gamble. Speaking of ones, actually, I haven't found any yet. Definitely should have kept that ones. For upgrade round. Doing GR3 to get a main of powerful, and then we're gonna do another run to get a LOD. Need some sockets. And then we're probably gonna do a GR like six or seven. With that LOD. I mean, we already have a bunch of legendaries that we can equip, so we should be fine. Maybe instead of doing this uh, strat with the uh, level 34 wizard to gamble the magistrate, I should have just gambled the winter flurry, which we very likely would have now with 600 bloodshot spent. Maybe it was a bad gamble. Because with it a flurry, you can actually do GR20 very slowly, but it's possible without LED gem. Actually, I should get black hole in here as well as some point. Oh. Wait, I skip like all the blobs here. There is a blue ring, 70 actually. It's huge. Yeah, there's no cash run. I'm gonna do no cash to primals. Sorry, did yesterday on the edge. 
It was pretty fun. Can I say on the edge it was way more fun than here? Because <laughs> it feels disgusting. With nothing. I feel my socket. So it could be a bit faster, yeah. I'm trying to reach the 70 by three and a half hours. Let's see if we can do that. Spends a bit on luck, I guess. Wait, we got the LD gem. Why did we get LD gem now? We didn't. We're not powerful. Okay, let's not level it, I guess. We're supposed to get it in the second run. This down, that's a sizable DPS upgrade. Can we empower this? 210k. We can actually. Let's go. Five gemmas for LD. So we're gonna get 3.75. We get a to like level 5, that's like 15% per item. We're gonna have glove, shoulder, weapon. They have like five legendaries equipped, maybe. Okay, we're gonna have like roughly double damage after this run. That's kind of nice. Double damage is already not terrible. Dude, zero pickup radius. Yeah, you're gonna get the powerful gem first. You get powerful and then energy. It's probably just because I've already done that to like guarantee drop and now it's like a random actually. And it doesn't matter if you level the, the powerful, so it's fine. Wait, the sprint the, the, the speed bar is actually killing stuff here, it's just walk through this. <laughs> Big man, look. Let's just die. Wow. Anarch charges into me and dies. Best pylon. Better than Condred. I had to remove the greens and equip level 1 LOD gem because this was the first Greater Rift and you're not, you're not supposed to have an LOD gem at this point. You're supposed to have it after this run. I should have equipped the powerful now. But yeah, actually, I didn't. Speedpan is destroying. Sopa. How many acts of bounties? I did four this run. And then did the last one, finishing exactly level 70. To get the recipes. I think this is probably the way to make sure that you have the recipes. Because else you might not get them.
Yeah, and Bane of Powerful is always the first, and NOD is always the second. And after that is random. Yeah, I mean, the first one doesn't really matter. It's gonna be level zero, so it does nothing, so it doesn't really matter. You just start leveling the powerful to 25. That's what you always do, and then in case you're actually doing LOD start, you can level the LOD a little bit. Then maybe at some point you get a puzzle ring, you get a boon of your hoarder up. By the time you've done all that, you have all the gems basically. From most of them. And you can just as well just go with like one or two sockets in your gear until then. <laughs> Good luck on hardcore, Alaka. GR20 Yellow Guide. It's on Maximo actually, it's on the Season tab. Uh, I just give GR20 Guide. Get a ring. A Manald Heal. <laughs> hmm. Does I have a socket? He does not have a socket. Okay, that's a problem. He's the one third that we need. Let's see what he can do with this. Get like all fails now, watch out. Yep. Uh, got one, got two, big. Okay, now we put this stuff on the follower. It's time to get our LOD going. We got this, 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 this. I don't do rhyme hard yet, I guess. Oh, we don't want to salvage our sword. Okay, how many items do we have? Two, four, six, seven. So we have like double damage plus a mana heal. Can we try to do something with that? What round is this? <laughs> I think Hydra. I mean, you can try. Maybe it works. Chain Lightning. I mean, it's probably like the best thing to do here. Is there anything else that we could use as like a kind of passive lightning thing? Not much, I suppose. Like hole, maybe just get like some spell steel. <laughs> oh, we got boots too. Yeah, I can grab some yellow wings actually. No, I actually can't because then we give up this button amulet though. Let's craft three. Okay, here a lightning and a socket. Boom. Just see how this will go, I guess. If we can do anything here. So we have done a Tom and Wonder, so we can do a. Let's gonna try it for science with one out here. I guess we're not gonna do any damage until like boom, one out here procs, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> then everything just dies. Mm -hmm. So maybe now is the time actually for GO20 already. Side Tom and Fall Rift. Again, with your boots. Oh, we have this one actually, I forgot. Keep the Odin Sun, we don't need the Reinhardt. Just sell the other two. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna go in again. Yeah, so basically it's gonna be relatively slow, quite dangerous, I guess. But once we proc Manotir, I think dies. So this is the expectation right now. It's got like full lightning skills. So we should probably go something like Blur. Probably no power hungry. Harmonizing. Let's see what we can do. So now we do a Torment Fall Rift. We have to kill like a bunch of bosses, keyboardings, and we are fine, I think. So, out here, group. Okay, seems to work. <laughs> and you have to wait for the proc every time, so that's scary. Maybe I need diamond skin. Not sure if our Templar survives this. I can't really see how much damage it does. Find those packs. Okay, I want to see one proc on the Zelate. I want to see if I actually have the damage. Okay, we need two, it seems. Okay. Yeah, it works, I guess. After this, we have our 6P, so let's do the T4. Let's do the bosses and the key wardens, and then... We're fine. Just trying to find, like, some packs, I guess. Group packs, I can even one-shot, I guess, in one go. Problem is like I'm actually it's stopping to attack sometimes, and then that time my mono tier window closes. Okay, and I salvaged my wand again. That I wanted to upgrade as well as. It feels so slow paced, even with Shame of the Zera. I fifty percent extra attack speed, <laughs> but it's two hundred X is so slow. Definitely not very hardcore friendly here though on Torment 4, because it takes so long to kill stuff. We can probably do a second wand upgrade after this run as well, so we can get two wands, we can gamble a bit. Then we're probably blasting. Without the ring time, we're gonna go back and gamble for Helm. Maybe, since I have a one-handed weapon here, I would probably just gamble Winter Flurry now. It probably wouldn't really pay off immediately, because it's going to be level 1 offhand, that doesn't really do much, but it has the effect at least. Or maybe just go for the helm until we get it, basically, one of the two. Let's see, made that character, that might be the better move. Yeah, Manatee is kind of carrying here, but with LOD, we're already doing double damage. We could you know, struggle our way through this, kind of, as well. Or just do like another run, get the LD up again, maybe get another one or two legendaries in the, in the mix. You have like double damage again, and at that point you can definitely do the GR20. Just with like, you know, level 6 LD and like 10 items or whatever. You're fine. I think this would actually be way easier now if I had a one-handed weapon instead of a super slow axe. Yeah, I mean, the damage doesn't matter all that much. Like, as soon as the Mount Heal procs, you're fine. And, like, the one thing that matters for Mount Heal is attack speed. Like, if you have played Mount Heal back in Season 9, yeah, you would notice. <laughs> you know, with the Veer stacks, when you had, like, more and more attack speeds, like, this was crazy. The difference between high and low attack speeds. Because you get more Paralysis procs and more Mount Heal procs per Paralysis. So, I guess my DMS would actually be higher 
a lot overall. With like, you know, a random dagger, like if I had a pick sticker or whatever. This is 1.2 attacks per second, this is 1.1. It's actually very slow with the maze. You can only use one Hydra until you get Severance Sparker. <laughs> it's kind of funny when the Storm Armor. Wait, what? Storm Armor is just proking paralysis and killing with stuff one shot. It's a season 27 PDR again. It's a nice ring, but it's yellow. At this point, I guess we don't care much about yellows anymore. And a mana tier outcome was really cool. I agree. I seem kind of killing these monsters even if you don't get any procs, but it takes a while. So it would still be uncomfortable to do a D4 about this mana out. But once you have the helm or the offhand, I guess it should be a bit better or like the LD a bit higher. Fifty-eight million actually on one mana tier proc. Save this thing. More the bees. Raid incoming. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Alright. Who could that be? Raiding us at this time. Ooh. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it has a socket. That would be kind of nice. Always has crit as well. We're gonna identify it right now. Might be worth it. Q and A time. Sure, guys. And we do not have a socket. Eh, okay, we can't use it right now. But the FCR is quite a bunch of items, you can actually like try to roll a socket. Hello guys, I'm Rex. <laughs> Big raid. Thank you very much. You're doing a wizard, no cash, zero to Primal run right now. It's a kind of cool format. We are almost at full Hadrix and then we are pretty close actually, so that's what we're doing. Vegan friendly stream. I don't really care. You can be vegan all you want here. Alright. Any chance you can group up for GRs? Yeah, you mentioned that to me like a long time ago when uh, when I first mentioned this event. And I've been discussing it and I think it's just gonna be like too messy and stuff. Because realistically most people will probably be mostly playing solo. And I do see the concern of like people that made plans with their group and stuff, but I didn't really wanna like do like some special rules on top of already what, what we have basically. So we're gonna leave it there. Because the original spirit of the event was full hardcore SSF. 
And the only reason we didn't do that is because we can't police it in T16. So that's not changing. Softcore vegan only seasonal. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that uh, you're going to be there anyway, Rax. So in case you guys haven't seen, I made the, the big announcement for the Season 28 event earlier today on YouTube. Type the command and check it out. There's a big document with the rules and the challenges and all that. What's the benefit of plants that are grouping? Well, I mean, some people might just, you know, want to play after that event and not really like you know cripple their initial grind and all that I guess so this might be one one reason or just enjoy playing together I mean that's a kind of reason as well oh we got Illu Tomb Guardians here look at that <laughs> you know what Torment 4 Rift let's go But yeah, I mean, realistically, it's not such a huge loss. I think if you don't play groups for like a few days at a season start, it's okay. And I think for like, for those people that want to participate in the event, you know, this, I think this is going to be like kind of like the big thing. And then everything else you can just do like afterwards, you know, like your own pushes and whatever you want to do. You have to make some compromises. If you had like a real SSF mode, then we would have taken that basically. Ring source. Triumvirate. Huh. Okay. Plan B. We go Frozen Orb. Screw this manual heal. Okay, Jen. Rank 1, Torment 4, clear incoming. Yes, guys. Watch out. Just need to survive this with Guardian. Oh, we got two keys. That's nice. Alright. Yeah, we got Frozen Orb now with this offhand. And we got another ring, which is... Uh, like a ring. That's also not bad, actually, with the LOD. Okay, now we can do the GR20 very easily. It would be possible with this mana here as well. It would be kind of slow, but fine. Even without it, we, would, we could do it at this point with the... Rank 2 LOD and, like, 10 items. Should be manageable. You can also do two upgrades, let's see. A Starfire. <laughs> More mana teal items. Ooh. Man, okay, now it's kind of tempting. Do we do Hydra stuff or what? Socket ring? No socket. Un unlucky, let's replace this one. Uh, let's do this and this. I'm going to do Frozen Orb anyway, I guess, until after this run. We have like one round of Frozen Orb fun. Let's do this. Um, maybe this. We have like Fire, Cold, Lightning. I guess we don't need this, yeah. How much damage is this? 350, this is a lot of damage. So I guess we got like full. Let's do Conduit. Keep the Scramble. Or we got Power of the Storm, maybe. And we should be chilling. Don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. And this. The Hall of Vexo, I'm not sure. Save this. Let's go on the other wizard real quick and gamble the helm, though. Yeah, Hydra procs none out here, but it doesn't get buffed by a tough one set, so once you have the set, it's useless. I leveled this wizard earlier as a second wizard to try to get Magistrate, guys, so that's why we're here. I got absolutely nothing. Amazing.
After this, we have only like the keyboards to kill and like a few bosses, and we are basically done with the Hadrix. So after this, we have Typhon, guys. Then we can drop this uh, LOD gem again. Yeah, should be fine. Let's go. Actually, we can fit in the Hydra, right? It does 210% increased damage. Maybe instead of the Black Hole. But Black Hole is nice for the Frozen Orb. Right, let's just go. Should be easy peasy. Poison Hydra. Okay, we one shotting stuff here. Yeah. That's nice. Without even the final explosion, so. How about the left click? Even left click kinda works. Yeah, now we're destroying this, so that's very easy now. Maybe you're gonna beat the Demon Hunter. If you do this run in like 2 minutes, 3 minutes, and then we do like a T15 run. I don't think you can. Well, you have Fragment, maybe we can. I'm not sure if it's good enough. And then the GR70, and you would beat the Demon Hunter time. Well, 3 hours and what is it, 3 minutes? Let me cheat a tiny bit on a Demon Hunter as well. Channeling. Hello, Zila Kimi. Yeah, it's going well. We actually got some nice stuff here. I'm on my way to the sixth base. Before three hours, that's nice. This is no cash. I mean, with cash, it would be long gone here. Probably like half an hour ago, I guess. Maybe faster, actually. Oh, you still have to do the bounties if you get the cash, so I think even if I was opening the cash, I'll probably still level through bounties at least four acts. And then do the last act at level 70, just like I did now, just so you have like the, the bounties out of the way. And yeah, this feels so good now, suddenly compared to this mana heal, wait for the proc stuff, man. That was awful. I don't think that's fine at all, but it's not when you have a 1.1 attack speed weapon. Yeah, it's a run from level 1 to Primals, that's what we're doing. I mean, Hadrix and Primals is almost equivalent, so you don't need much from the Hadrix to get to Primals. That's a nice goal. Mostly on hardcore is going to be scary because of toughness issues at the start. But I guess you can play it kind of careful. On the Hydra set, it's a bit of a different story than usual. Okay. Well, in this case, we let's just level this, I guess, until we have to. Full set. Um, okay, what now? We have to do Belial, Sidea, Skeleton King, Uzael, Rakanov. Rakanov on Torment 4, actually, so let's start with that. Then do Keyboards. Should be no big deal. Wait till 61 to the bounty, so you won't get the jewelry patterns. Oh wait, you can't wait, wait, wait. You can do it at 61, not at 70? I I waited until 70 actually. If you can do it at 61, it's even better. Because I can can do all of them during leveling. But it's not so much about the jewelry plants, it's about the blacksmith plants. Like the jewelry plants you can just buy from squirts in Act 2. So it doesn't seem like a big problem as long as there's a bit of gold. But 
But they might not have enough gold, like it's 12 million gold for all the plants, which is probably too much at this point. Oh, I can actually identify those uh, shoulders. You can buy only three from squirts and they're expensive. Uh, well, apparently they count for multiple though, the Hellfire Amulets. Rainbow Golden, guys. <laughs> Wonderful. I guess in a season start, I would actually go in there to get gems and stuff. Save the one again. Can do another upgrade soon, I guess. Okay, that's easy. Toughness seems actually okay with my 5 million toughness here with all the shields I have. Yeah, season start rainbow is definitely nice. I would I'll go in there for sure. A real season start. But now we don't really care about it. Definitely make sure we collect the machines here this time around. We need them later for the hellfires. Okay, what else do we do? Uzarel. We have done the T4 rift already, so and the GR20, so we have basically everything done on chapter 4. I have to do Skeleton King and Gom. Extract one power. I have not extracted a power yet. I guess you can just throw some random stuff in there if you have to. I deleted the executioner, so this would be the only power that actually did something at this point. Oh, we actually, we ex extract a fragment or so. It's gonna give us a pretty significant boost once you have to set. And then you have everything for the tough one. What meteor rune for Tarn in season 28? I mean, a star pack for uh, like pushing for sure. You get uh, extra resources this season. It was already better, at least on like the non-Omega high-end push. But for like just casual gaming, like cold is totally fine, and for farming is also what to use. Yeah. This. Never close the Grey Rift. Gesture of authors. Wow. Skeleton King, they say. I'm doing like season 27's uh, bosses right now, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, at least we get our Hadrix before three hours, which is not terrible. And you already have like one of the important pieces. You get a Serpent Sparker now, it's GG. We don't need the magistrate anymore. We got these DBs here. So nice to play some Frozen Orb. Such a fun skill. Patch notes when soon. Copium. Guys, busy with the community leveling event on EU. Wait, what? 
Oh, you think they're gonna change something on launch? Ah, that's not happening. They don't change something like randomly on season launch. You know, we're gonna get the final patch outs now, and that's basically it. So. Got some pa I got hexing pants. I'm gonna expect those actually. They help us a little bit right now. Right. Yeah. They did before and got hated. Yeah, okay, I mean, it might have happened in the past, but realistically this is gonna be like, you know, one little update for something and, you know, as long as it doesn't like, completely change an entire build or something, it's all good. <laughs> you know, you can just go in and do an update. I mean, it's something where you have to like gather data to actually figure out what to do and stuff, that's a different story, but it's just doing like a small update in case there's actually like some tweak to like a set in the last minute or whatever, that's not a big problem. Promoting Crusader gets ranked up to S++. Yeah, I mean, Crusader has LD Bomb, which is actually a really good um, farming build. We discussed it earlier. It's actually like one of the best in the game right now. So technically, they don't need a huge buff, but as outside of that, they have nothing, which is kind of sad. And not everyone likes LD Bomb, I guess. But yeah, I'm not sure if there's like really many speed farming builds that actually beat LD Bomb. Maybe we have light, and that's probably about it. And then maybe new Natalia or so, if uh, that becomes like, really powerful. Alright, it's Hadrick time, I think. Let's extract a... Uh... Let's extract a weapon. Screw it. We don't, we don't gonna do the Hexing Pan stuff. Well, has been extracted already, I guess. Uh, we cube this fragment. Save some ones for maybe some upgrading. We equip this thing. Just fire skill damage, amazing. We can do the Haunt of Exit now, more fire damage. Should do a fire hydra setup, huh? Socket on a weapon. There was no socket on any weapon, so that's fine. You have to roll a socket on a weapon, is what I mean. I'm not sure. Let's go. Yeah, I just did the key ones like a few minutes ago. Boom. Okay, our follower is basically geared. I mean, okay, we can swap it around. We have like a scanner relic here. Let's save this thing. Follower cannot die. That's huge. Put it on the enchanters actually. Okay, we cube this thing. This. We have no sockets. This is plan's end, yes. Okay, we swap to Hydra now. Let's see what it can do. Um. We do Frost Hydra. We do Snowbound. Let's do Deflection. Let's do Scramble. Let's do Absolute Zero. We do Blur. Power Hungry. Dominance. We got full defense with Power Hungry. We imitate the buff to Typhon with a Squirts. And we put like a bit of vitality to compensate, I guess. So let's do something like this. Because we have the Squirts now. So, you know, Typhon is not buffed yet. So we do not. Let's put this. I think diamonds are probably better at this point. It's 13.2, 13.7. How much is the vitality gem? Diamonds are way better. And we go, I guess. I guess at this point I would actually dock into a level 1 wizard and get my offhand. Okay, let's try. She was not hired. True. I do not have a character anymore, and I still need this one. 
We have 100 blood shards, so 4 times. Not really great, but okay. So I go into flurry. Need to be 70 for rock to drop from bounties? That is false. I got one yesterday. And I did it at like level 30 or something. Nothing. Okay, let's do a torment eight. Let's see. I mean, we do have like two GR kills right now, but I'd probably just like do like one run now and see how it goes. Okay, they, they one shot everything. Pretty much. Oh wait, I don't have a generator. I need a generator as well as for the fragments. <laughs> hmm. That machine seems good though. Okay, do we do a reflection? I think we leave out the black hole. We go. Uh, chain lighting again. Twenty-three million toughness. Can't really tell because there's no shield indicators in this game. How much toughness is that? Is that good? I have no clue. But Tom and H seems to work, so that's nice. Chandras, yeah. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah, so Tomanade is like fine with Fragment though. It's probably too low. We could probably go like higher, like T10 already. Like everything's just dying instantly. As long as we have the buff. The Bracer. I think at this point I would actually sacrifice 1 GR key and 10 dBs for the 25 move speed. So this would be a bit more smooth. Try doing chest turn on T16 after 7 e <laughs> Yeah, I can do that on softcore. If you get like a bovine or something. We still have... Oh yeah, it's a points there, okay. I swear I'm running Blizzard and don't even have Blizzard uh, offhand build, so it's kinda useless. Paragon's sweet spot for a casual player. Oof. It depends on how casual you are, how good or bad you are, and also what you're playing, so I can't really give like any real number. But farming Paragons will be crazier than ever, that's for sure. Especially for the casuals, because of the pool thing. Like, we get like a comparable season theme buff to like some of the best themes we've had. And on top of this, you get like another comparable season theme buff, just in extra XP from the perma pools. So that's gonna be pretty ridiculous. Like we're gonna see like Paragon 2K the first like 24 hours probably, or faster even. Paragon 2K is recommended for under 50 solo. Yeah, it's gonna be very easy on something like Wizard and Necro, and then yeah, the other classes kind of like follow suit at around that level. 
fastest solo farming builds. I'm not sure what it's like the number one. Should be very light. Maybe LD bomb. I should see the numbers on LD bomb. Excellent raid, ninja power. I don't guess. Good night. <laughs> Twenty-four hour, GR 150. I'm, I'm gonna try that uh, on hardcore SF. Twenty-four hours would be a nice target. Groups probably gonna do it by like twelve hours, maybe faster. Thirty minutes for the next gameplay. I got thirty-five legendaries. And it's kind of nice, but you can also just get your Hades gift and then get like, you know, hundred plus legendaries easily in thirty minutes, and you're actually farming something that's worth farming. So I'm not sure if that's really the, the move here. Like all these Hades gift sets are really good this season. Okay, we got some blood shots again. I think I'm gonna try again. Do you like one more wand upgrade as well? And now we go GRS probably. Let's take the scepter. F. Necro is good, yes. What does the altar have to do with your farming strat? Aha! Uh -huh. 48. I'll take it. I guess we would open this at like T11 now or something at least. I gambled on level 1 character because that's the only offhand. I think they removed Perma Pool after season 28. I think it would be ti high time for a pool rework in general. <laughs> so. Oh, we actually have. Um, do we have mats to cube the Synergies? We should have the mats, right? Yeah, like one other item or something is probably doable at this point, so... Let's put a in Arches. Yeah, if Pools just last until death would already be really nice. Like, Perma Pools is... Doesn't really make much sense. Like, even for the season, it doesn't make sense for me. In the season, by the way, you don't want to salvage your extra sets, just saying. Let's put this here. Let's see how... How much can we open now? Like a 30-something. Let's do it like a T11. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Let's just try it. Let's just open like a T15. What do we have to do? Yeah, T15, right? For primals. Can we? Maybe. It's gonna be pretty hard though. We have like no toughness. 13 million toughness, by the way. Oof. I probably wanna roll a few items at least. Like this. We establish a lot of items at this point, so we can do that. Hydra. Oh, this works. Let's see if this. Oh, this one is ancient. Sure. Maybe because there's a breakpoint, maybe not, who knows. Mm, 
guess this is kind of useless. Actually, it can be any element, I just realized. So we can do something like this. Yeah, I mean, it's probably like too much anyway now at this point, so we can't really roll more than this. Oh, can you submit runs via mail? Well, at some point we're gonna have a mail address, but right now we don't. Okay, I don't have to demonstrate T15, that's for sure, I guess. So, back to the drawing board. Let's just open this, maybe. Yeah, I just added the, the mail address or like the mail option for people that really don't want to use Discord for the event, for whatever reason. I mean, realistically, we expect like 99% of people to use Discord, but I'm going to ask one of the moderators to check their mails. So that's the idea. Let's do a 50. Maybe uh, Blizzard again. Should probably do illusionist at this point. Wait a minute, why is this so, so weak suddenly? Let me just do like a T11? And this is like easy peasy. Did I change anything? The fragments and archers, that's, that's all there. Yeah, it's not exactly accurate though, because I just equipped the squirts in my cube. Uh, so if ever I lose my shields, like now, I actually don't have the Season 28 buff for Typhoon anymore. <laughs> that was supposed to be the Squirts. Protein cake keys per day. Right, good luck. Fifty trillion per hour minimum. <laughs> That's a bit much. Jump games five times. I mean, of course, if you have a bot army, I can do 14k keys a day. If it's just like leech, Rift Guardian kills every 10 seconds. Good luck, dude. Nah. Stream army is not enough. Oh, maybe it would be, I guess. I mean, realistically, the FNRs are so fast, you need like. Maybe five people, there's like farm never risk for you. Maybe eight or so to be safe. And then just like, you know, invite you on with Guardian every single time. That'll be even better than a bot army, I guess. Or comparable. I also don't have a mana powerful equipped, as well as should have rolled a socket somewhere. In fact, we don't need the Naga Ring anymore and all this mana here. We can just go with yellow rings and get sockets. Or that. Three hundred hours versus fifty hours. I mean, fifty hours is like two and a half k already, or so more. So three hundred hours is like five k gone, probably at least. Oh, it's actually very slow, as well as... Why is it so slow? This T11 was going really smooth. What's different? Yeah, I'm missing something. Why is this run so slow? Give me like a 7 minute run. 
Typhon is just not really blasting, man, compared to Guardian Hunter with the, with the Quiver. Like, Guardian Hunter and Quiver, and you're chilling. And here, I have Fragment. I have Winter Flurry. It feels awful. If Serpent Spark, it would be better. I will have, like, yeah, triple the toughness. Double the damage, and then times four the damage. Yeah, if you get a, a Serpent Sparker, then... I think realistically, you probably want to farm until you have Serpent Sparkers. Just do like T, I don't know, T10 Rifts. Get your Death Breath. And get that Serpent Sparker at all costs, I think. That's probably the play. And then the Magistrate while doing that. When you have both these things, you're gonna be easy at like, primal level. Ouch. But I need the Ashinga and the Unity at some point as well, or Halo. Yeah, this was a bad move going that high. I kind of overestimated it. Yeah, open is out of 1, doesn't really matter that much. It's like minus 20% damage, plus 148. Still like a net gain of like times 2 damage. Yeah. Yeah, the, the only stuff I would have on the altar at this point, I guess we could add it, because last time we didn't add anything, but at this point we would have the movement speed at least. And the next one is the shield globe thing, which I don't know right now what do you need for it. But at least the movement speed we would have, I guess, at this point. So we can put the movement speed, perhaps. I also have the 300 points in mentality there to uh, simulate the Typhon buff with squirts. And, uh, the extra damage I take. Yeah, sometimes I lose the squirts and it's just not really accurate. I guess you could like roll off Vitality on our gear and put Int instead to simulate this, the Typhon buff. Because I just lose my shield way too often, yeah. Yeah, double current in will also make me quite tanky though, because suddenly I get like 600 auras. That's the issue I have. But yeah, we can go back and roll off like some of our defenses again and put that in. I think that's a better estimate. And I'm gonna move the squirts. Join your BS Ninja Power. Bye. Error 37 Throwback Party. And we're gonna have Error 37 so soon enough, man. 84, don't worry. I'm sure going to lower here, here. Just like walk through, keep your fragment up, and just do it do that that way, basically. Another Starfire. F. Stone Jordan, though. One side is a friendly starter build. Is it? Is it actually a good start? Like, 
Okay, because I need to cool cooldowns and stuff, right? Oh, that's actually a nice ring. Let's do this. Okay, I remove this. We get like 6k int or something. How much toughness we gain from this? We have 12.8 million. Let's try to get the same toughness back. Let's just roll something that is useless. Like this. And this. Take out the gem from the helm. Okay, that's close enough. Let's do Torment 10. Actually, while we're in menu, let's gamble again. That's the wrong character. I'll try to get a magistrate finally. Ah, yeah, true, I can move to suck the diamonds as well. They actually give me uh, most of that orders. <laughs> well, broken crown would go on the follower, I suppose. It's taking a long time, three and a half hours. Yeah. We got the Hades gift by three hours at least, but now we have to get the items, that's the problem. And playing like this, these like season start scenarios and these kind of things, you can really see like, you know, like the end game is kind of okay for the most part, you know, like the sets and the balance and all that. I mean, some stuff is really bad, some stuff is really good, okay, but in general it works, right? You have like complete builds. But man, when you have like incomplete builds, the game is just so scuffed, <laughs> you know? Like I was just waiting for this one item that I could have gotten like an hour ago or not. That would give me like triple my toughness. Times 8 my damage. And I don't have to walk around with my generator every 5 seconds. Click on something. When you have an incomplete build, man, the scuff design really shows. That's what I'm saying. I wonder how many keys I found by now. Probably like 30. Here's another one, let's go. And then you still blasting me. Yeah? Wait, I got interrupted. The build is able to do 150 with less Paragon. Yeah, number one is Nova. That's what I will do. I'll do 150 Nova. Hopefully day one on hardcore. And another starfire, that's also number four or five now. What is this? And not around. No primal account. Are we trying to unlock primals? What do you mean? Man, who voted for Wizard earlier, by the way? I want to... Uh, I want to talk to your boss. I had a poll that decided I was going to do Wizard, and it wasn't even close. I need to find out who it was that voted for Wizard. What a test run.
CC immune makes Necros gods. Yeah, not really, but it helps more than usual, I guess. I mean, basically all of the Land of the Dead builds don't really care about the CC immunity, I guess. Besides not getting Vortex here and there, maybe. And then you have like Bone Spear, which is, yeah, kind of nice, I guess. But you're ranged. Then there's like Nova, okay. You give up Invigorating Gemstone. You get a, get a Zay, so you have a bit less healing and a bit more damage. It's not that crazy, to be fair. This is immunity. I think it will help, like, uh, especially the Witch Doctors and the Wizards. If Shagu gets balanced around. Yeah, I mean, if you're not time attacking, I would definitely suggest just take the Invigorating Gemstone. You don't need it next season, but in general. People talking, season 28, in 5 hours they're crushing under 50 if I unlock Full Altar. Nah, that's too optimistic. I think Full Altar, like SSF, in like 10 hours, 12 hours is doable, but yeah, I need to get 6 primals that he don't want us, that he want to salvage. So, that's like problem number one. And to be fair, we're doing the slowest start possible on the wizard here. I think every other class will be faster than this. Oh, it's even ancient, man. Look at that. Okay. Well, let's go. No socket, but maybe we can roll one. So let's do, uh, let's just do a T16. Should probably be possible. Streamer, like, yeah. Only took like 20 upgrades, guys. roll socket. Yeah, so now you would cube the Adder Walker and then we do that into 16. Actually, it would be interesting to see. Can we do it right now? Let's do it for science, just real quick. Instead of fragments. Well, scuffed often. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if it's ancient anyway, like it would just like make it primal at some point or whatever. And we are kind of killing something on T16, but it's not good enough. But this should definitely do the trick. And we don't have Enforcer yet, we don't have Vazaze or anything. Yeah, boom, it works. T15 would definitely be the player. I would only do T15 now. Let's do this. I'm not gonna regain now, it's on. And then we unlock the GR70. Let's do it. The question is, I, I did so many wand upgrades, I'm not sure if I would have the mats. I think I would be out of mats, or like normal mats. Can't really tell. I guess you could do like in between like a bounty run or something. <laughs> There's not really a reason to stack up on like keys right now, so I could actually do a bounty run on Torment 10. Get a bunch of mods there. And have enough for like wand upgrades. So you probably used a bit too much. Oh yeah, proc would be a good idea, I guess. Although, what do I, what do we move? I kinda wanna keep power hungry. So many DBs. Definitely getting way too much DBs now. 
this. Getting canes early on follower. I have to recipe, sure, but I wouldn't expect a recipe if I'm just this one, like bounty turn in. Like you definitely have to run without canes until you have the double bounty node, and then you get it. Sure. But I have to sacrifice a bunch of keys, but it's not like, the craziest. So. Watch a serpent sparker drop. That would be hilarious now. Dude, so many moon seeds. Where's the exit? Is it here? Maybe we can do like one floor here. What's up, monkey? Bone Spear versus Tal XP. Uh, I wasn't 114 out of 15. It was a bit lower than that, I believe. I can check if you want after this. Bone Spear is okay for Speed Farm, but it's not like really top tier. Tal should win. Tal is also not top tier, but I think will win in terms of XP at least. Can actually do one floor here. Double bounty means double backs. Get around that knee. Oh, now we're popping off here. I'm pretty sure someone tested this on PTR and it's double bags. Wizard speed should be a bit better than necro speeds, yeah. And we got a squirts. Oh, we're actually popping off now. Look at that. I definitely want to take 50% extra damage right now. With zero defensive items in my build. Cause why not? Fun is actually one of the best buying builds in the game. So like Inner Raymond, but before Inner Raymond, it was actually a contender for the best. Slightly more stats, I suppose. I actually got time to just like drop Winter Flurry at this point and not do this lizard stuff, just get a black hole or so, that would be a decent. Survivability. Ooh. I think I'm actually gonna give power. We got four defensive passes, guys. Let's go. The GR70. <laughs> Can basically, just like slowly progress through this. Slow and steady. I have 64 million toughness, though. We can kind of survive one hit. Maybe I should do Ice Armor. Like Storm Armor doesn't really do much for me right now. I don't think about it. Or Force Armor actually would it be the play here right now without anything. For the survival. So that's a mistake. Ouch. Yeah, Force Armor for sure. I like to cure it because if you don't have any fragment stacks, one tap on a big pull gives you a full fragment stacks. It's kind of nice. Got a ranged playstyle. I did it on PTR for speed farming. It was really enjoyable. Because you can let it drop, no problem. You don't have to like perma keep it up. 
just on a boss attack, like two seconds or so to stack. Oh. Miss Firebird images. <laughs> I don't miss the build, I gotta say. But it had like its own identity, I guess. Reminder to cash trade channels, pin message, so that guys they have completed at least one GR solo on different region. Oh, yeah, I can do that, that's true. Else it's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> like a you know three and a half minute run or something not the burst it's kind of funny how this one item turned everything around man like i could probably just like remove fragment that would be okay i could still do like some you know eight minute run or whatever kind of like chill through his rift but uh, here at this point we actually like t16 ready kind of Realistically, I think I will take the other walker in the cube now and just like start blasting like Tom 13 or so so I get like a few upgrades like Ashnagar, Halo I don't know, some stuff like that a little bit of toughness at least maybe eventually do like another bounty run to get the uh, Guardian set get a Rog at least once I can do T16 so I think this will be the move now I have this is zero paragon, yeah. I just put 25 move speed because I would have done the. I actually didn't. Yeah. Already I had it for a little bit. The 25 move speed from the up from the sacrifice from the season's fame, but I actually moved it. My first user's final. Well, I found one earlier, which was a crown's belt. We can get something here now. We did it. Four hours forty, man. And one and a half hours was just getting <laughs> a surface park. <laughs> yeah, this timer is from zero until now. So this was almost five hours now to get, reach GR70. But we got pretty unlucky on that surface park, I gotta say. And this was really holding us back. <laughs>